Well, students at Whitesides Elementary School in Mount Pleasant had an e-learning day today after district leaders say carbon dioxide levels in some areas were higher than typically seen in indoor settings. Yeah, the building is currently being assessed, as they're saying. News 2's Jordan Sayopa is live outside of West Side, uh, Whitesides today. Jordan, tell us what you've learned. Brendan Aaron, to begin, the district says that the uh, carbon dioxide levels were well within OSHA standards, but they decided to keep students and staff home out of an abundance of caution. Now, today I've had multiple people reach out to me with their concerns about this building, and they say they've had them for years. Longtime teacher Kirsten Bowman has spent the last five years at Whitesides Elementary School. She says a few years ago she began to experience headaches and other respiratory issues. Finally, I just got to the point where um, I was like, this is just not normal. In the summers, my headaches would go away. I would ha not have fatigue. I would be fine. Bowman says many teachers in the building share these concerns, and she's even received several emails from parents who noticed the same ailments in their child. When school resumed this year, so did the problems. Her fourth grader symptoms caught Bowman's attention. And I just noticed the kids were all sniffling and runny nose and like lethargic and it just didn't have the energy that a bunch of nine, 10 year olds should have. She met with the school's facilities team earlier this month to address her worries before they checked certain classrooms last week. In person learning was called off at Whitesides Elementary Thursday in an abundance of caution. The district said carbon dioxide levels in some locations were higher than typically seen in indoor settings. So we actually started at Whitesides in kindergarten um, within, I would say, a month. Um, she started missing school, dealing with congestion and headaches, um, sneezing, coughing. Paige Ducey tried to get to the bottom of what was causing her daughter's symptoms. Despite the many visits with doctors, it wasn't until her daughter transferred schools in 2021 for an unrelated reason when the problem stopped. You know, now that we see there, there might be a bigger problem there, it definitely, you know, you kind of start connecting the dots and questioning, you know, what, what was she being exposed to and what are all these children being exposed to? Bowman says she wants to see the CO2 levels for herself and for repairs to be made before she feels safe enough to go back to school. Um, I need written proof and I need written proof from a company outside of CCSD that, um, you know, I, either we get a consultant that has no, no affiliation with CCSD to come in to the schools. Now, the district said in a notice sent to families that their an HVAC system in, uh, inspection this week revealed that some of the outdoor units were not performing at 100 percent capacity, which can lead to those higher CO2 levels. However, those units are being repaired. They're also ordering parts for the rest of the units, and they say they're adding CO2 monitors throughout the school. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Jordan Sayopa. Count on two.